Hello and welcome back to episode 4 of Project Zomboid. We're going to go for a drive and search for the elusive generator and generator book. Um, yeah, we have a car which we picked up in the last episode. So good things can happen now. Or a van even. Let's get going. Okay, that van's going to annoy me being there. You zombies, let's clear them out. Otherwise they're just going to piss me off. Come on, I've got the engine running. There was another one as well. I can see them rumbling the tree or ruffling the tree. Let's have that action will be called. Bothering the tree, worrying the tree. Let's get going. Fuck it, we can't kill every zombie. Well, we can. Yeah, no, let's just go where we're going. We'll deal with these people later. How far do we need to go? Right, so. We've done this one, so that's the one after. Oh, sorry. Hopefully they have a turnaround drive. They don't. When we bought the house we lived in at the... What's it? Alright, oh, I can just click there, can't I? When we bought the house we living at the moment, the owner he is an arsehole. We hadn't exchanged contracts like a day before we moved because he didn't want to for some bluffy, stupid reason. So we had to book in the movers, spend like a thousand pounds. And we had all our shit from our house packed up and we still hadn't exchanged which meant he could have turned around on the day and just told us to go fuck ourselves. Back in one of the most stressful times of my life, moving house to where we are now. The guy really was a chief. Um, yeah, one of his big selling points, because we haggled over the price quite a lot. He seemed to think he had the fucking best house in the road. And one of his reasons was it has a drive around drive. We don't live in a big house or anything like that. We're in England. Everything's a bit smaller than uh, other countries with more land. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much squeeze the car in and then squeeze it around the drive. Uh, carpentry level 4, beautiful. Electrician volume 1. Ah, uh, we see the one we want. Generators. Beautiful. Yeah, he thought it made the house worth fucking 60,000 more or whatever he paid for it. Really dicked me off. But what can you do? You can hold on to these things, become bitter and angry. Or you can think, I have a nice house for my family to live in. So obviously I chose the bitter and angry uh, <laughs> angle. Pineapple, is that high fat? Yes, it is. Sardines. I thought they weren't too high fat. Good in omega-3 oils. Vegetable soup. Good. And mushroom soup as well. Nothing good here. Oh, wow. It's got a pool. How nice is that? Right, pay attention. Let's not die. We have our generator magazine now. We only need a generator. Nope. Nope. 
There is no generator to be had here. I suppose now we kind of start working on our library collection. Yeah, I'm not one of those people that um, levels everything up or grinds everything up. I just work on fitness and carpentry. They're the main ones you want. And farming, I suppose, to a certain extent. But again, farming's not that important. All right, fuck the rifle. We take ammo, but not that rifle. Uh, let's fill our water bottle. Let's actually eat some food as well. Commercial we've read, haven't we? Okay. What do we have on the table? Magazine 4, we've read. What's here? Nope, nothing good. I think hammers don't get damaged as you use them. I could be wrong. Carpentry Volume 2, I think we have this. I think 4 was the first one we want, but I'm going to take it just in case. I'd rather have it and not need it. Let's take a comic book too. Rather have it and not need it than uh, need it and not have it. Gun case, what do we got? Handgun, yep, we we'll take that. And that has encumbered us. We can stick it in the boot of the van now. Right, I think we're pretty much done with this house. Anybody in here? Nick. Nope. Ooh, garbage bag. We do need to think about starting to disassemble furniture. Let's get rid of this table. I think it takes a hammer and a saw to do. Yep, we have the hammer equipped. Oh, it does have a condition for the hammer, so maybe it does. And let's see what that actually did to our carpentry. Tiny, tiny bit, so seven. So we need to do ten of those to level up once. Maybe twenty to level up twice, although I think the number grows as you become more experienced. Let's do these things as well. Yeah, so it's good to have a hammer on my belt, otherwise it would be in my inventory all the time. I hear zombie growling. You. You're messing with my karma, sir. Can you please stop growling? Should we actually note that we've done this one? Yep, done. Next. Ooh, he needs a generator. And then... Maybe the sledgehammer too. That's pretty much everything I need... To, uh... Survive. Turn it off. Yoo-hoo, anybody home? Not at a cursory glance. They could, of course, saunter down the steps. Oh, I didn't get rid of the gun case, did I? Uh, canned beans, your low fat, and tomato. Thank you. I will go and get rid of the gun case in a second. Uh, crackers, let's just eat them, because they have no fat. up on this shelf pop yeah 
any books, mechanics which we've read, a cooking magazine, metal work we've read, tailoring we've read. Okay, all right, let's go and dump some shit in our van. Anybody out here? So we can dump, we keep the mushroom soup. Carpentry, comic book, the electrician we're going to read, the garden bag, gardening bag, or garbage bag even. Gun case, generators we're going to read. In fact, we'll read that now and then stick it in the back of the van because that's one we want to hang on to. Don't know why. I suppose it's just so so useful and it's one of the ones that's hard to find. I don't want to let it go even though I don't need it. I doubt I'm going to do a second character if I die here. But we'll see. Right, let's close that. We should be relatively unencumbered. We are. We've got stuff to read. Maybe we should start doing that now. Maybe do some exercise. Try and get in shape. Alright, oh, there's some rooms for us to go around here. Let's fill the water bottle. Alright, zoom in a bit. Be prepared. Some carpentry still skill going. Don't like this table, it's too big for the area it's in. It just fucks up the feng shui if you ask me. Right, anyone here? Nope. No generator. Nails. You can never have enough nails. Nope. We did the book places we did. We haven't done this utility cupboard or whatever it is. Military boots, hand torch, screwdriver. Nope. Yep, okay, we're clear here. Are we looking for carpentry now? We're getting there. It disturbs me that one curtain's closed. We're going to start creeping actually so we don't attract outside zombies. We are probably going to be spending the night here. Best of the Bojangles, nice. A sheet's going to be useful, although we can pick up curtains. I think there's a window or two in our house that doesn't have those. Then again, eesh. I think we're sleeping in this room. Front room's a bit close to the road for my liking. You might get some road noise. Garbage bag. Thank you very much. Pipe wrench we had. That's another useful item. Right, that's it. I think we're going to starve ourselves until we're ready to go to bed. We do need to get these pounds off. 86 and stable. Right. Let's do some reading. open this mushroom soup as well yeah if you have your can opener in your main inventory it does save like a split second here or there it's possibly the best thing to do 
of a sensible thing to do. Let's get this book read. Good. Oh, no. You guys go in wherever. And we opened a can, didn't we? Where's this can? See, half. Yeah, reduce strength and healing. That's not a good place to be. Hungry. Good. Sleep. Woken up relatively early. There is a fog though, so our vision's going to be impacted. Let's do a bit more carpentry while we're here. Don't like this table set. Brilliant. I think we can do two levels. Is it two levels? Yeah, two levels. And what do we need for this one? Yeah, it's doubled from 70 to 150 or 75 to 150. So the next one we'll probably need 300 carpentry. But we will need to read the other book before we do that. Let's eat the rest of this mushroom soup. And empty tin can off. We're going to take these planks and some of these nails. We can potentially start fortifying our base a little once we get back. Getting bored. Okay, fair enough. Were there any more screws that we have left? All right, let's disassemble this as well. Or nails even. Yep, there you go. Any zombies? Yep, there's one over there. Fair enough. We can probably put a little bit in there before they start coming. If we do the planks too. Of course we can't fucking do the planks. Oh, it's hammer time. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Right, let's make sure we don't put these on him as opposed to in the van yeah I think we'll take a can of tomato oh no we're fine come on We done. We done. Onwards. Let's change weapon. Did we map this one? We did. Come on, Van. Don't let me down. Ooh, this one. I think this is a big uh, car garage. That may have a generator as well. So we've got the garage here and these here. Where we can find the generators. First we have some friends to take care of. Hey baby. I don't think our hunger situation helps us at the moment though. Just you guys? Was there no one else? Nope. Anyone in here? Or 
that's not we're gonna have to smash the window aren't we one more door to try okay Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Uh, propane torch, yes. We need a gas tank as well, which I believe you can get from barbecues. Take both of you. Garbage bag, why not? Move on that. I think we will take that gas can and then we can I don't know stick them both in the van just leave them there oh beautiful nails how's this duct tape good condition a wood axe jackpot that's much better for chopping down trees garden hoe forgot our oh, pickaxe as well let's get this tire pump too Good. Like this one. Oop, get the pickaxe too. That's a good weapon to have. Let's do some disassembling. Very hungry. We do need to eat, though. Let's take the nails. What's that a picture of? Bizarre. Still on the fucking hammer. Which one? Ah, oh, gee. Accidentally hit the Q button there. With my sausage fingers. We got the log wrench. I don't know if the wrench is that useful when you do car maintenance. Hopefully we're far enough away from zombies that, uh... Oh, this guy heard it. We have a load of stuff on us. Yeah, look, we've got loads of stuff in there already and barely any trunk space is being used. And then we eat some lovely canned tomatoes. How's our... Yep, we're starting to go down now, good. Our weight starting to go down. Sorry, I should explain these things when I talk and not just do half sentences. Yep, we're back to hungry, could eat a horse, but we're not starving and reduced health or anything like that. Oop, there's a zombie. Let's make sure we have no exit. If there's a few zombies in here, it could get a bit tricky. Uh, carrots, corn, beans, 
potatoes. I suppose in all reality, if we uh, pop back to that warehouse, that Amazon warehouse, wherever it was, and then go and get the sledgehammer, we can start working on the base a lot more. Well, that would actually be good to do more disassembling. We'll do that on the way out in case there's any zombies hiding around here. Ooh, the herbalist red. Large hiking bag, please. Toilet. Yep. No generator. Did I check my body? I probably did. Yep. Shit. Okay, just upstairs to do now. Pay attention. Don't like that. Let's disassemble that. What was it called? Fancy low table. I kind of want a fancy low table for myself now. Uh, scrap wood. There's no sink. Oh, right. Okay, they have their sinks over there. And I'm using the hammer again. Assemble this fancy low table. Scrap wood, no nails, okay. Yeah, I just walked in there without paying attention. Fucking idiot. It's probably about time I changed my hoodie. Because I imagine my other one's a bit damaged. Probably worth changing my jacket too. I have had zombies. Or at me. Oh jeez. That made me physically dump, jump as well. Fanny pack. Like crap. All it takes is a few seconds carelessness and then it's game over. Don't like this, this can go. Don't like this fucking chair either, let's get rid of that. Oh, wow, there's a lot in here. A duffel bag, which we don't need. A school bag, which we don't need. And stuff in there, which we don't need. Right, let's get some more disassembling done. Let's uh, take out these people's dining table. Was actually clicking on that table, but here we go. That's it. We need to read carpentry level two now, which I think I actually have in the van, don't I? Carpentry level two. Perfect. Um, not 
really much to get rid of. We didn't really take much, did we? Right, let's actually close the boot. And find a bedroom to hide out in. Close these curtains. Let's read our book. And that should take us to bedtime. I think we will keep hold of this one. Um, reduce strength and healing. Fuck it. Oh, just open the curtains. Where's the actual bed? Let's see how we, uh, if that affects our sleep at all. Sip of tea. Mm. Right, let's eat all our beans. How are we doing weight wise? Yep, we're still a bit overweight. Mark this off. How close are we? We must be getting. Oh, right, there's a fair few more houses to go. I was going to say, we must be getting towards the end of this uh, road, row of houses. We read the book, didn't we? So let's just check. Yep, so we can disassemble these. Take these nails. Did we go in here? Yes, we did. Yoo-hoo, any zombos? Nope. Stick our book in that. Our nails. And should we put all our cans in? No, we keep one can on us. For emergencies, our emergency canned carrots. Good, we did well in this house. It gave us good things. Probably drawn in a few zombies here. Yep, we're still on the hammer. Let's change that. Shetty time. And there was one guy out here. Let's have a gentle jog. Nope, he's not interested in us. Let's have a gentle jog back. I imagine we'll be exerted within seconds. No, we didn't get exerted. That's good. Right, what we got in here? Okay. I think we've got enough comic books now. Toilet. Nope. Utility room. Toilet. Noise me leaving doors open. Open doors are where zombies can walk through.
Yeah, I suppose in this game, one thing I like, I don't know if you've ever played Seven Days to Die, um, but being able to build, oh, there's lots of disassembling to be done here, um, building automated base uh, defences, that's something I like about that, which you can't do in this game. Um, I think you possibly can with mods, as always. But that would be a nice thing to do. Beef jerky, we can take that and eat that later. And was there anything here? Oh, peas and potatoes, all fat free. Beautiful. It's been a while since I tried canned peas. They weren't fucking pleasant from what I can remember. Right, I think we've done all doors here. Let's go upstairs and then let's get back downstairs and disassemble. It's probably worth changing our genes. I imagine our existing genes are a bit knackered. Eh, a bit bloody. Nope. Right, fuck, it's creeping. Let's walk. Probably worth having a pair of leather gloves back. They can get damaged. And they do get damaged. And last door. <gasps> Fucking hell. Scared the pants off me again. <sighs> Look, I even moved this out of position. <laughs> gun case. I think we've already got this gun. So it might just be worth taking the ammo. What is it? MR14. Let's take the magazine and the ammo. Guns are incredibly heavy. Right, I'm probably going to need new underwear. Uh, not in the game, but in real life. Fucking hell. Right, disassemble time. What do we actually need for this? I think it went 75, 150, yeah, 300 and 600, okay. We do need level 4 to be able to build a rain collector. And we do need that sledgehammer actually to be able to knock a wall out to actually get outside to put a rain collector out there. So that's something we do need. Right, I think there's a few stuff. A few things to knock out around here as well. You can do beds and everything else as well, but... Dunno. What if I want to go and sleep there at a later date? Unlikely. I rarely go back to the same place more than once unless it's uh, got something I need. and I know that I need right map. Done. What's this over here? 
Probably a food court. Ugh. Right, on we go in our Scarlet Oak Distillery van. Hmm, hello. They're going to start banging the gates, aren't they? Can we actually open the gates? We can't. We will leave them closed, though. Okay, can't see those zombies anymore. I think there was one over here, too. It's hiding behind a fucking tree, isn't it? Or maybe there's not one there. I don't know. Anyway, let's assume the position and carry on. Wow, beans, carrots. Probably shouldn't have our back to the house until we cleared it. Let's do that first. You're alive, aren't you? Sneaky fuck. Take the key, because why not? When they sneak downstairs while you're looking around, you don't notice them. We got the propane torch. Don't know if you need welding rods. I suppose I could do metal sheets as well. But realistically, I want to up my carpentry skill, so... Nope. Oh, leather jacket. That's where you... Eat the crackers, leave the rest because it's high fat and we're on a diet. Nothing worthwhile there. You're just a dining room with a booze cabinet. Let's go and see what's upstairs. Another way for me to jump out of my skin. Right, get ready, be prepared. in here, nothing good. Yep, okay. Yeah, we can't really hang around our house too much. I suppose it's got toilets and several sinks, but we will run out of water relatively quickly there. Two gun cases, and these are shotguns. Are they both shotguns? Okay, so you can go out, and you will just take as you are. And then this would take the magazine and the rounds. Yeah, until we've got a, a crowbar. Beautiful. We did put that in, didn't we? Yeah. There we go. Right, it's almost disassembled time. I think we may have to stay in this house, though. 
Because it is getting late. We have nothing to read, though. Tables, really. Tables and chairs. Can we fill our water bottle, please? We don't need to. We might as well. So, 600 now, I imagine, to get the next level. 750, okay. They've added 150 if this one was 300. Um, and yeah, once we've done that, we can build the water butts. A small water butt, that is. I think you get carpentry from chopping trees and sawing them into planks as well. That's something we're going to need to do a lot of at the base too. So, yeah, we don't need to do all the disassembling here. And I can't click on that table. Of course I can't, that would be too easy. And this is the grind of Zomboid. Um, I don't know if you see my Kenchi series, but I suppose in a way it's much the same. You grind, you grind to get anywhere or anything done. Um, there was nothing to do here. We're kind of seven o'clock. If we go to another house, it's getting on a bit. But it's still lightish. All right, let's do one more house. Famous last words there. Let's do one more house. I do like that this has the ready-made gate. Gate with a T. Uh, we want to get rid of our guns for sure. And our ammo. And our cans. And our nails. Probably the crowbar. How's a machete looking? It's not up top because it's not the one equipped. Okay, it's looking okay. Oh, it is the one equipped. Right, come on. I don't want to click the speed up just in case a zombie wanders over to us. Let's close these gates. And let's give this one an X. And let's get going. Oh, wow. There's a big pack of zombies holding out now. You zombies. Ah, look at this. This has got the turn-in driveway. Beautiful. Alright, we need to change before we get out. We get out that side, we would get fucked. Police. Okay. I assume there's some uh, robbers in here. So there may be a few more zombies than usual, but we'll see. Right, let's open the boot. Check here. A Louisville map. And a West Point map. Let's get the junk out. Check the boot while this lady shambles up to us. Nothing. And you've brought some friends as well, haven't you? I think there was one more. I think I... Ah, uh, Louisville map. We must have done Louisville by now. Right, the one more I thought there was, isn't that? Right. Let's go in here and not get killed, please. A 
any burglars. We have got the tired mood all now. Alright, let's open that mushroom soup. Everything else we don't need. Gas can, don't need... Oh, welder mask. We need that if we start doing metal work. Which, in reality, I doubt we're going to do. I mean, it's easy to weld up the windows of your uh, main home, but if you pass in four planks instead, you're getting a carpentry skill. I'm working towards... I think these two would take fishing and first aid. Because that is something we will get towards. Let's just check the hallways. Yep, clear. Clicking volume 2, we might as well have to start on the volume 2s. So we will... What I usually do is make salads, and we will actually get to the point where we can upgrade our cooking skills. Again, though, it's one of those things you play this game. Well, each to their own, however you want to play it, but I've not actually seen someone say, Ooh, I want to be a chef in Project Zomboid. I'm just going to cook all the time. Not happened. Maybe there are people that play like that, which fair enough, if cooking's your thing in the post-apocalypse. Oh, two crowbars, beautiful. Not very good condition, one of them. We will take the good condition one. So crowbars are good for survivor houses. You can just fry off the wood that's there. That tape, yep. You can fry off the wood that's on the windows and then get in there easier. Or the other way is just let the people in there um, bash their way out. And then go in afterwards and kill everyone. Maybe we could get a water cooler and fill that up at the uh, base that we're setting up. And then that way we'll have plenty of water until we can uh, get to the rain collectors. In theory, we are close to the rain collectors. Right, it's 9.30, we're tired, we're hungry, and why are we over-encumbered? Let's close that window, although no one can jump into it. Let's eat half. And we had this to read. What does it actually give us? I read it all the time. Make metal fences. Hmm. That's good, I suppose. Black corset, fishnets, and some pants. What was in here again? Owl has opened CD. Nice. Did we do this room? Yes, we did, didn't we? Yep. Okay. Doesn't matter where we sleep. And I think... I can't read anything now. Let's start some exercise. No, so we've gone down one on uh, weight. So if we go to... 
Where is it? 11 days. This will be our 12th day. Yeah. Right. I think it's health, isn't it? Exercise. There you go. Burpees. That's a general overall everything. Our muscles will be a bit fucked after we do this. And we need to put... Uh, this is the pain in the ass. We need to put our fanny packs back on. And our back pack back on as well. And let's go to sleep. I don't know. I don't know whether I should go back to the base. Start working on that. Now I need a bit more carpentry. Um, yeah, I think I may play on a bit between now and the next episode. Uh, read a few more houses because there's only so many you can do on camera. And then come back when I'm ready to start building up the base. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated as always. I'll be back again soon. Bye.